This will be my first video in a series of Linux videos where I go over the introduction to Linux, getting you acquainted to it. But in this video, I'll be going over six reasons why you should switch to Linux and one big reason why you shouldn't. Okay, let's go over why you should be switching to Linux. I love Linux. I would personally use it in my environment if I could. However, I'll get to that at the end, why I'm not currently using Linux for my main PC. And let's go over the six reasons why you should be. So first, it's free. You don't have to pay $200 for a pro version of uh, Linux. It just doesn't exist. You can go out and get it today. If you're just getting into it, you're gonna be wanting to look at Ubuntu. They have the best community as far as helping newbies get into Linux. For reason number two, you should be switching to Linux. It doesn't have Big Brother. It doesn't have telemetry from Microsoft reporting home, all your nuances, all the things you do in your computer so it's not constantly sending home and saying hey this guy really likes cat videos it is just there it's rock solid and it, it just doesn't have any kind of spying the only thing i've seen is ubuntu's initial launch has an amazon app that does report some usage from that amazon app but you can just simply uninstall it when you install Ubuntu and you never run into that again. So that brings me to point number three. It's stable. And I'm talking really stable. It's how I first learned Linux was because every website pretty much in the business community is hosted on Linux. It is known because I've had servers go for years there's many posts on the internet. Heck, there's one uh, system admin that had it going for over a decade without a reboot. Now, obviously, he probably should have been doing some more security updates and things of that nature, but that just shows you how stable Linux is. So when you run it, you're not constantly having to deal with uh, stability issues. It either runs or it doesn't, and that's the beauty of Linux. That brings me to point four, which is... It just works on pretty much any piece of hardware. And you'd be surprised what runs Linux. I've had uh, NAS enclosures that actually have like a little version of Linux loaded on it. I think Arch Linux, uh, a lot of ARM processors such as Raspberry Pi, all are Linux based. Uh, most of those are all Debian Linux flavors, but I won't get too far in the weeds on that. But you should know that Linux works on any piece of hardware pretty much out of a huge broad spectrum, even things that you don't even think about, mainly like TVs and other things like that, are all Linux based in at its core, or it's using the Linux kernel. Number five, updates. It's really good for updates as far as you get to choose when the updates happen and how often they happen. So you won't be actually using Windows and just have it you know, in the middle of your work reboot on you and say, hey, I'm installing updates, or you need to do a restart, and it's like, hey, we have to do these updates. We're going to force you because you've postponed them so many times. Linux doesn't have any of that. You get to choose when you do your updates, and frankly, if you don't ever want to do an update and you want to just ride on the same kernel for five, ten years, you can do that. I wouldn't recommend it for security purposes, but you can do it. You choose when, and also for really small security updates where no kernel update is needed, no reboot is necessary, which is fantastic. Now, for the final point of why you should switch to Linux is a big one, and it's, it's one that uh, Microsoft's gotten better over the years, but it's still far far cry where people are getting computer infections. Well, Linux really doesn't have any viruses or malware. It is a very specific audience or users in Linux and almost no one writes viruses for it. So much like OS X barely ever gets a virus, well Linux, literally I've never even heard of a Linux machine having a virus. So that's how secure they are and uh, secure, reliable, and you just don't get viruses. So like when my mother-in-law had her computer crash, I said, you know what, let's not even bother reloading Windows. I just put Linux on there because all she used it for was to pay bills, 
web browsing, and just the basic stuff. She didn't use Microsoft Office. And I was like, hey, if you need to edit any documents, just use this LibreOffice. And she's used that and it works for her. And she doesn't have to worry about her computer slowing down over time, like with Windows. You just don't run into any of those issues. So for her, Linux just was like the perfect choice. And for if you're you're like that watching this video, you should be switching to Linux. There's no reason not to. That said, for the power users out there, for some of the really specific gamers and other things, let's get to why you won't switch to Linux or the one reason that holds back pretty much anybody from switching to Linux that doesn't fall into that category. So software, software compatibility is the biggest thing that holds Linux back. And one specific software in the business realm that hurts it the most and that is Microsoft Office. Yes, I just mentioned LibreOffice. It does pretty much everything Word and Excel does. It just doesn't do it quite as well. Office has had decades of development. Everyone's familiar with it. Nobody wants to learn this new, new software. And uh, it's simply a better product. I Hats off to Microsoft in that department. They have done a phenomenal job with Microsoft Office. In particular, Outlook mail client, it is awesome. And I don't really have to sing praises to Microsoft about their office suite because pretty much if you're watching this video and you work in an office, chances are you're using Microsoft Office. Some offices have tried the Google Apps or G App switch where they're using Gmail and the online suites to edit their documents. And almost everyone comes back to me and goes, that sucks. It's horrible. Don't ever do it, Titus. And I'm like, I get it. <laughs> so Microsoft Office is kind of a staying point. So that's why pretty much most businesses will stay in the Windows realm for now. Now, there are certain caveats there or, or cheats. I've done some Office installs on Linux, but it's very hacky. It doesn't work quite right. And typically, it's an older version of Office. You're not on the latest, greatest. And since they're updating Office so often, I just don't see it coming to Linux in the near future. And the one sticking point for Linux is their mail clients. They have Thunderbird. They have a couple other ones, but there's no really great mail client. Now, don't hate on me too much for saying Thunderbird sucks, but it does. I'm sorry. I just got to come out and say it from being an Outlook user for as long as I have. I just am not a big fan of Linux or Evolution or the, the Linux Outlook alternatives you have evolution which is also not all that great um and then you have thunderbird so the mail client selection is not great but if you're like an osx user yeah you're dealing with that crap anyways with the mail client which i hate osx mail client as well but at least they have outlook uh alternatives now that said Microsoft is pivoting a lot into the Linux space, and if they ever do make Microsoft Office, which I think they will sometime in the near future for Linux, I will switch in a heartbeat. But that was my main res reservation. I did mention a little bit games. Uh, games, uh, there's certain games that won't work on Linux or work very well, but that is coming to an end. Steam has done a fantastic job with Proton and the new Steam client that's come out in the past month that has literally expanded the library of Windows-based games that are playable on Linux, and it should no longer be a holding back point. There might be a couple games here and there that aren't compatible, but for the majority of them out there, they are going to be great. So let me know what you think, and uh, I'd love to hear feedback, but my next videos will be the installation, basic configuration, installing software packages for Linux to help you switch over to Linux because it is a great software and it's a great operating system that so many more people should be using. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any feedback or comments, please let me know below. And if you'd like to see more tech videos, hit the subscribe button and check me out on my website, chrisTitus.com.